The katana, blade up or down. Drawing a katana in Japanese martial arts is a big deal. So much so, samurai have trained specifically just to master sword drawing techniques. Iai Jutsu. This is the art of drawing a katana in Japan. For samurai in Japan, the sword was often a secondary weapon carried in combat, or a defensive weapon carried while in public. As such, the draw stroke of the katana had the potential to be the most important action, and possibly only action in defense of oneself, if executed skillfully. In cinema, how samurai wear their swords does change frequently. Sometimes a samurai's blade is facing the ground, sometimes the sky. This depended on the blade and the situation where it was being used. Many mounted samurai wore tachi, similar to the katana, but more curved, longer, and heavier. These swords predated the katana. Mounted samurai and or samurai wearing heavy armor would face the edge of their swords down. This allowed a samurai to draw their sword more easily without lifting their shoulders in restrictive armor. Tachi were also worn suspended low on the waist, which again made drawing easier, particularly on horseback. Samurai on horseback typically drew their blades with one hand while controlling the reins, and they drew their swords so the blades would face down at an enemy below. Samurai during times of peace would focus more of their training on the katana, a more personal weapon than a weapon of war. Swords in general were never favored weapons by samurai, over spears, or the bow and arrow. The katana was worn blade up, with the hilt closer to the ribs. This would allow an unarmored samurai to draw their sword much faster, utilizing both hands, one on the scabbard and one on the suka, or handle. The draw would incorporate more total body movement, with both hands moving in opposite directions. The sword hand grips the handle on the opposite side of the blade edge. This ensures the blade is drawn with the edge facing towards an opponent. This allowed the draw to also be an attack motion. Sheathing the katana is also a process requiring both hands. The non-sword hand acts as a guide. This is not done simply because it looks pretty. It is the safest way to guide the sword into the scabbard. Both hands are brought together, a move so natural it can be done without looking, and prevents the blade from slipping and cutting fingers. Throughout history, samurai often paired their swords. During the Edo period in Japan, samurai paired their katana with a shorter sword, either a wakizashi or tanto. A wakizashi worn together with a katana was an official sign of a samurai. Besides a display of social status, these shorter swords were more suited for indoor fighting. So historically influential was the wearing of katana that it influenced Japan's left-sided streets. If samurai passed each other, they typically did so on the left. As most were right-handed and wore their swords on the left, this prevented samurai from bumping blades. It further meant at least a right-handed samurai would be able to more quickly defend himself against an opponent closer to their sword hand. If a samurai felt an imminent danger or perhaps wanted to intimidate an opponent, they could, just as in the movies, dramatically unsheath the habaki section of the sword. This can be done with just a thumb. The habaki is the short metal collar used to keep the sword in the sheath and support the fittings below. This simple metal collar fitted carefully with the sheath provides the majority of friction keeping a katana in place. Therefore, this often dramatized action is similar to cocking a gun, placing a sword in readiness to be drawn, though this move is also in no way required to draw the sword. Aijutsu has historically gone by several names. In more modern times, the related and more common discipline is called Aido, which tends to reflect a less martial practice with more philosophical focus. After the collapse of feudal Japanese society in 1868, many classical disciplines for warfare took on more spiritual context. 
All right, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching. Hopefully the video wasn't too drawn out. And remember, whichever direction you face your blade, just be careful. Here, shake hands with the slash code. Ah! Handle first, handle first.